My name's Lee Bartholomew and I'm Head of Fixed Income Product Design at Urex. Today I'm going to take you through the highlights of uh, the second quarter and give you a flavour of what's to come for the rest of the year. Uh, as you'd expect, we had a strong quarter uh, last time round. That was largely driven by macroeconomic factors as well as geopolitical risks. What did that mean for us and our volumes? Well, we outperformed in the German sector quite well. A lot of that was on the back of higher realized volatility. So what we saw was a lot of people kind of taking profit on the upside, uh, which the market was happy to absorb. Standout performer this year for us has been the periphery segment. So the Italian BTP futures and options together with the French OAT uh, futures and options. They continue to outperform and continue to grow month on month, year on year. That's part of the sector really that I'm interested in and think that's you know, set to grow further as we kind of roll throughout the rest of uh, 2019 and into 2020. What else is a highlight for us was we've seen good growth now and momentum being built in our passive investment sector. So fixed income ETF options, they're growing. We've seen quite a few sizable trades coming and there's more participants, which is always good when you're trying to create an ecosystem. So what do I feel for the rest of the year? I think that is another area where we will continue to see volume growth. I expect to see potentially a new product launch uh, in that sector. So uh, watch this space uh, there. That should then help us to kind of build momentum into 2020. In terms of our core products, that will be underpinned really by geopolitical risks and the continuation there. We've seen stimulus added from the ECB. We've seen stim uh, stimulus in terms of rate cuts from the US. That safe haven buy-in has helped in our futures contracts and has also helped in terms of our realized volatility. That's something that I expect to continue to see into year-end.